Friends, hello, hope you are well. I really do mean that. It is debate day. It is debate day, which could be good or bad for the market. So we'll see what's going to happen. And that will not show its face until tomorrow. So let's talk about Palantir. Alex Carp. Alex Carp, I think, is our hero. Literally, he is the guy that's going to lead us into making a lot of money into the next decade here. So. Here's the situation. Our our sweet little Palantir is not so little anymore. It's getting a little expensive to be a part of Palantir. And, you know, the funny part is, is that probably this time next year, we're going to look back on this and go like, I remember when Palantir was just right under $35 and now it's $65 or $100, probably more so. Who knows, it could be even more than that, depending on where this bull market AI run will go next. And uh, th that's a lot of the conversation right there. But, you know, he one thing that we're seeing with Palantir is that Palantir, like I just said, is getting very, it it's getting popular. And when things get popular, it gets expensive to play with those things. And, and that and Palantir has the evidence to back that up with deals. Just now, it's going to be put on the S&P 500. So a lot of great things going on there, and, and and we're we're just we're just tapping into what is coming here with the next leg of this AI run, especially with Palantir and what they're going to be doing. You know, Alex Carp, uh, he made this video here to investors, to people that love, believe, and want to know more about Palantir. He made a video himself outside, very just like random video. I think a lot of us have to admit, just a very random video, but it was a it was a very comforting video, and this is the kind of stuff that you need to realize how rare this is with him making this video it's rare because it's hard to get ceos to talk about their company face to face usually it's little clippets um you know that where they talk to some reporter and you you just hear what they're saying out of a random conversation or when there's bad news, they don't talk. And when there's good news, they t don't even talk a whole lot. This is not what Alex does. Good and bad and just regular news, Alex always shows his face. And with this one, he really talked to investors. So, I, you know, I don't want to sound like I'm trying to be biased. Like, he, Alex is so great. It, it is, it's honest. It, it really is the real thing here. Because if you invest in a company, you're going to start to get really connected to that company. Really emotional. If you start to invest in, you know, Tesla, you're going to be looking at Elon Musk a little bit more. What did Elon say over here? What did he do? You know, if you invest in Walmart, you're probably going to be looking up who's in charge of Walmart we don't, what are they saying you just get you get you know emotionally connected with big investments in your life and, and that's good if it's a long-term play there's nothing wrong with that if it's something that you're going to be holding on to for a long time um, that there's nothing wrong with that but Alex here is he's the CEO that we need right now he's the CEO that we want and obviously I'm not trying to make a video talking about how you know how great Alex is but it's just, and I know there's a lot of people that don't like him, but the fact that he talks to us, I think is amazing. It's amazing that he talks to us because I've invested in a lot of companies where the CEO does not talk at all and it is a huge problem. You know why it's a huge problem? Because it means they're not connected to the company, to the stock, what, however you want to put that, they're not connected to it. So talking about Palantir, like I said, Palantir is getting a little more expensive and I... I fully expect Palantir to continue to start climbing more walls here. You know, it was just, you know, a year and a half ago, Palantir was playing around, you know, under $15. I remember, like it was yesterday, when we were like, Palantir finally went to $15, and we were like, wow, you know, one day Palantir's going to go to $20. Imagine that. Palantir went to $20. Then Palantir played around this $20 to $24 period for quite some time. Then Palantir went to $29 to $24 for quite some time. Now Palantir's at a $30 to $35 period for some long, for a little bit of time here. But now it looks like we're going into a $35 to probably $39, $40 range here with Palantir. Probably to end out the year, we'll probably be at somewhere around $40 to $43 with Palantir the way it's going right now. And we still have a quarterly to release this year which is crazy in which we are pretty much already in the green zone of knowing that it's gonna be it's gonna be good with all that said friends I do believe that Palantir is going to be the official big game changer in a lot of people's portfolio for next year going into the stock market. And, you know, I, I, I don't want to talk about this too much because I sound like a broken record at this point if you listen to me yap here. But 
I like I'm sold out. I I am sold out. I'm drinking the juice. I am I am ride or die. I am riding the blank here of AI. I really am because I I believe there's going to be another AI run. I don't look at AI right now like it's the EV run or it's the cannabis run. You know the the clean energy run like these FOMO moments we've had in the market where everyone's like this is the next thing. No, we know X. We know AI is gonna be the next big thing in the market. It's gonna continue here because it's not stopping and it's still evolving. A lot of these other the past five to six years, of what we've seen in the market, we've seen a lot of FOMO things. Like I just said, we saw EVs really get out of control. You know, everyone with ten billion dollars was starting an EV company. Um, you know, and everyone with ten billion dollars over here was starting a green energy initiative company. Uh, and then you know. Everyone over here with $5 billion was starting a cannabis company. So we've seen these FOMO moves in the market here, but AI is something different here. AI is something that is still like it, it hasn't hit a wall. All these other things in the market that we've seen in the past few years, they've hit walls. They've hit bills. They've hit regulations. Uh, they, they've hit just, you know, companies running out of money, not enough market. But AI is so broad and still nowhere near being anywhere complete at this point which leaves you as an investor with a lot of room and a lot of meat left on the bone to be a part of a lot of special companies here so talking about the future of palantir what we know is we've still got quite a few quarterlies that are guaranteed home runs here going into 2025 um, palantir will be a part of the next bull run but not only that it will be a part of the next ai bull run and it's going to happen again believe you can take that to the bank there will be a bigger ai run here very soon and obviously nvidia don't want to talk about them but nvidia will be leading that because nvidia not only will be coming out with another quarterly this year to finish it off, but to with that, they're going to still be releasing their new chip. And guess what? Everyone's going to be buying the new chip. It, so we can expect more bigger numbers in a bigger run going into uh, next year with NVIDIA. That more than likely is going to happen, as crazy as that sounds. Six months from now, where are we going to see a lot of these AI stocks? Um, NVIDIA, NVIDIA in six, six months from now, we'll probably easily be at 140 150 that you know that i think that's the bare minimum palantir here 6 months from now easily we're probably looking at 45 to 55 dollars just on a average scale of how the stock is moving right now and what is to come with that too there's plenty of other ai stocks you know i talk about soundhound quite a bit soundhound is a i think soundhound is going to be the dark horse of next year too i think it's gonna it's not soundhound is not one of these ai companies that's having these quarterlies of like 50 billion dollars you know 30 well you know like 30 billion dollars to 10 billion dollars like palantir here there or, or nvidia what i'm trying to say they are a small AI company but they are moving up very fast so I think they're going to be very much a dark horse going into next year very much so um, so definitely check out Soundhound Palantir here when we look at this six month the, the six months here of, of the scale it's very easy to see that we are climbing slowly and I am a fan of things that climb very slow I don't like when stocks just shoot up I don't like it at all because I know it's gonna fall very fast when a stock goes from like say like five dollars to ten dollars in a matter of you know 20 to 30 trading days I get very 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 nervous about that because I know I should probably just take profit here and jump back in you know later on because there's about to be a huge decline in shares here uh, in price but with that, what we're seeing with Palantir is even the last six months have been very gradually growing here, very gradually growing. And now that we're in the $30 range, I don't think we're going to lose this $30 range. I think $29 to $35 is going to be the new playground with Palantir. And when we do see Palantir fall back to a $29 or $30, $31 range, we're probably just going to see a lot of it get ate up. Again. We're going to see a lot of it get ate up by investors because they know that's probably the lowest Palantir can go at this point because what we're starting to get into with this point is this there's not as much food on the dinner table with palantir because we're seeing a lot more investors get into it and one thing we're probably about to see what you're going to be seeing here in 2025 you're going to start to see 
bigger people get into Palantir, you're going to be seeing bigger investors, people like maybe Nancy Pelosi. Maybe if Nancy gets involved in this, it's going to be a game changer of night. But things like that will start to happen. happen. We're going to start to see investment corporations start to make large investments into Palantir. This will start to happen more this year going into 2025. Watch and see what happens here. But with that, it's publicity. And with that, it's eating up shares of Palantir. So as more and more shares get ate up here, driving up volume, driving up the want and the power of Palantir, this is what is going to make Palantir very expensive. Um, honestly, I said this in the last video. You know, I have pockets of Palantir. I have a pocket of Palantir over here that I bought in very low and I'll keep that for a long time. I have another pocket of Palantir over here that honestly I just use as a savings account and I, you know just a you know dividend payouts whatever go into that it's just used as a savings account and it's there because I know Palantir is nowhere near you know complete of being where it's going to be as a with a share price we've got a long ways to go and, and then another you know another platform over here where i'm buying palantir at a different price and you know so i i kind of that's just what i do but i still think there is a lot of room here coming with palantir so if you look at this and you go 34 dollars, you know is palantir really going to go up palantir is not showing signs of stopping that that's that's what should frighten you friend that palantir is not showing signs of stopping like i said uh the bottom more than likely will be a 29 27 on a really bad day but now that we've hit this new ground with this 34 35 dollars what we're about to break into here more than likely into this week we're going to really start to see Palantir go into new levels of of big money here. So, friends, I'm going to stop yapping. With all that said, I, I just want to encourage you, start to really think about what next year looks like. We're about to have an election, um, and, and whoever wins this election, Palantir is going to be just fine. It's going to be just fine. This this election will not control Palantir with any of that. Palantir is going to make its own road. It has shown that a lot of these AI stocks are going to make their own road. If you're looking for something going into next year, $34, yeah, for the average person, it's a little expensive right now. It is. It's going to get a lot more expensive. I can guarantee you this conversation next year will be even worse for you if you did not get in now. Think of it that way. Friends, I wish all of you the best of luck. I really do mean that, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, everyone.